quick update for you guys. Welcome back to the garage. I want to do a quick update for you guys. I know you've uh, seen my last video. Pretty much got this thing squared away tune-wise. And the only thing I'm messing with now is my adjustable cam gear. So I was getting kind of a late spool. Uh, I was getting full boost at like 4,000 RPM. Um, I have degreed in that cam to mechanical zero. So now we're playing with some cam, cam timing, excuse me, trying to get uh, spool back up. So two days ago, I put one degree advance into the cam. And now my spool, I have a log from that. And it might show up blurry on here, but that says the blue line is PSI. It's 21.4 PSI. Uh, orange line there is RPM. I can't get it to focus. Um, RPM is 3560. So it dropped it down from 4000 down to almost 3500. I'm going to add another degree of advance and log tomorrow and see how it goes. But um, bringing that power band back down, this cam is uh, designed for about 4000 up to 7500 RPM. That's your power band range. I don't go that high. I'm not built to be that high. I'm, uh, I'm happy around 6,500, so I have the ability to advance this camshaft to move the power band back down and not see any negative effects because I'm not falling below that um, RPM range that the cam was designed for. So um, it's all going to work out pretty good. It's already woken this up really good. It makes uh, back road driving a lot more fun. I'm in boost almost instantly the whole time. And uh, it's really making this thing wake up. So I'm interested to see what another degree of cam timing does. It should bring me back down to originally before this cam and head combo. I had it at, uh, I was getting 21 PSI at like 3200, 3250 RPM. So I'm thinking that should bring it back down. I also have some fine tuning to do on my uh, AEM True Boost that I have in here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but. Um, air fuel ratio gauge and the AM true boost boost controller. It's been a good boost controller for me. It's simple, a couple buttons are good to go, and it's a quarter of the price of uh, some of the high end ones out there. So that's where I'm at. Gonna dial that in a little bit more, drive it tomorrow, log it, and then hopefully uh, get on the schedule for a dyno and see where we're putting down the power because this thing will basically spin for a second and third if you romp on it so uh one you need bigger tires <laughs> and two those voodoo turbos make a lot of power a um, lot of power potential in them super high quality a lot of craftsmanship goes into those things i don't know if you can see it underneath that turbo blanket and everything but um it really has transformed this car and honestly i've spent a lot of time making the rest of this car work with such a modern turbo um, a lot of the other stuff is the older eight number eight hot housing, which is pretty restrictive. This opens up everything and you really got to make sure the rest of your components are on par. But um, once you get it squared away, man, you are going to be 100% happy. So that's where we're at right now, playing with our adjustable cam gear. Um, and I've really got this down to like it takes, I don't know, 10 minutes to take that apart and make the adjustment and put it back together. I currently am not running... Uh, timing belt covers i'll probably put them on later but for now i just did it for ease of access to everything so i can make sure everything's working right and make sure it's easy to get to if it doesn't so that's where i'm at uh and i didn't want to wait months to do another update so here we are doing a quickie and i think my laptop just died but hey whatever <laughs> i'll report back tomorrow guys